Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the Barbarian Barrel from Clash Royale. We're going to be drawing this character in an angle up towards the left. So let's start with the top edge of the metal band. So I'm going to start with a line, a straight line from left to right going up towards the right. Now from this point I'm going to do a hard turn going over, almost like a straight line going across. Now from the top, we're going to do another hard turn, so a slightly different angle, going up and out. From the ends, I want to draw a short angled line going in, going up and in, just to show the top edge of the band. Now from here, I'm going to follow these three angles all the way over from left to right. Now this is going to set up the angle of the barrel. So from the top edge, we're going to angle down and out. And do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to follow that same angle coming down and in. Now we're going to draw a straight line going across. I want to show the bend in the metal. So I'm going to take this point here and draw a short line aiming towards the bottom. I'm just going to go about halfway. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Now let's add the metal spikes. We're going to start with the one in the center. We're going to draw a square. Stepping down from the top. Draw a straight line going across. Down the sides. And then along the bottom. Now we're going to connect the ends, the corners, with a straight line. From left to right. Now the spikes on the side are going to be pointing outwards. So let's start with the inside edge. Starting from the top, again leaving a little space along the top and bottom. Draw a short line going across. Now we're going to go out in towards the center point, just to the edge of the band. Now from that same point, I want to draw a straight line coming towards the inside corner. Along the top and the bottom. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. We're going to start with the inside edge. We'll go across. Now we're going to come in towards a point, towards the side of the band. And then again, we're going to connect the point towards the inside corner, along the top and bottom. Now let's draw on the side of the wood panels. From the corner, we're going to step in. Now again, following that same curve, the angle, curving out and then down. Do the same thing on the right, stepping in, we're going to round it out and then pull it in. Now we're going to take the ends and just follow the same three angles. Starting from the left, angle down and in. Now we're going to connect these two points with a straight line. Now we want to show the top edge of the band. So from the corners, we're going to angle out and down, just like we did on top, and then follow and trace along the inside. Now the barrel is going to start to pull in along the bottom. So let's take these points, draw an angle line coming down and in on both sides. Now we're going to, again, we're going to follow those three same angles. And then closing off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're going to take these same spikes and just draw them along the bottom. So let's start with the center. Starting with a square. And then we'll connect corner to corner with a straight line. Now let's go to the left side. We're going to start with the inside edge again. Now we're going to follow that same angle, top to bottom. We're going to follow the bottom line and top line out. Now we'd go in towards the center point along the edge of the band. Now from the tip, we're just going to angle down towards the inside corners. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the corner, we're going to angle up towards the tip and from the top. Now we're going to expose a little bit of the wood along the bottom and top of the band. So let's start with the bottom first. From the corner, we're going to step in, draw a short angle line coming in, do the same thing with the right side. Now we're going to draw three panels going across. From here, we're going to angle down, in, and then we'll go across the center. 
Let's do the same thing along the top. From these top points, angle up and in. Now we're gonna draw three panels of wood. So from the left side, we're gonna angle down and in. Same thing on the right. And then we'll close off the top with a straight line. From this top point and the bottom, we wanna connect it with a curve going in behind the band. So let's start from the top, curve out, continue along the bottom. Now again, we're aiming towards this bottom point here. Continue along the bottom. On the right side, we're gonna curve out in the opposite direction. Starting from the top, curve out, around in behind the second band, and then all the way down towards the bottom. Let's add a little bit of wood grain texture. So I'm starting with this panel. From the bottom, we're just gonna draw a short curve coming down. We just wanna vary the length of these lines. We're gonna go up along the bottom. We put one up against the edge here. Now at the bottom here, I'm just gonna draw maybe two short lines. Along the top, we're just gonna crack the edge. A couple little lines like that. We're gonna repeat that over along the next two panels. A couple of straight lines coming down. And the center will come straight down. We draw a short one in the center. Now we always wanna go up as well. Starting from the bottom, we round this out. I'm gonna add a knot, a little oval on the side. We're just gonna fill that in black. And then along the bottom. A couple lines, then maybe one coming up from the bottom. And then finally the last panel here. One along the bottom on the right. Now here I wanna add the top edge of the wood. So from this point, I'm gonna angle in, in the short line. Now we're gonna follow these three lines all the way from left to right. And we're just gonna separate out the panels. So connecting these two points with a straight line and then along the right side. Now along the bottom, you're gonna see the top of the feet. So let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna draw a large oval. Starting from the left side, we're gonna curve down. And now we're gonna pull that back up. We're gonna draw one more on this side, but we're gonna angle it inwards. Starting over here, curving in, rounding it out and pulling that back up. Let's draw the top strap of the sandal. Starting from the outside, we're gonna curve in, and then back up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we'll probably see the inside edge of the strap, so we're gonna step up, just follow that same curve going across. Now along the front, we're just gonna expose a few toes. Let's start with the large toe on the left side half oval. Now on the side we're just going to round this out. We're going to repeat this until we get to the end. So adding three toes. Do the same thing on the right. Starting with the large toe first. Then on the side we're just going to draw three small half ovals. Now let's move back up to the top and draw on the head of the barbarian. We're going to start in the center so we don't leave enough space for the facial features. So right up here we're going to start with the left eye. Start with a circle. Now the right eye is half closed, so we're gonna step over, start with the lower eyelid, curving across and then down. We're gonna connect these two points with a half circle going up and then back down. Now he's cross-eyed, so on this side here, we're gonna draw a small circle, and we'll draw a tiny circle on the top left corner for a highlight. On the right side here, we're just gonna draw the edge of the eye, and then a small half circle for a highlight on the inside. In between the eyes, we're gonna add the nose. We're gonna start with the nose bridge, with a curve from left to right. We're gonna step down, draw on the tip of the nose, curving the opposite direction. On the sides, we're gonna add the nostrils. So I'll step down, almost like drawing a C shape on the left, and a backward C on the right. From the side of the nostril, I'm gonna curve out and then down. This is the edge of the mustache, curving around. Now let's draw the inside of the mustache. Starting from underneath the nose, we're gonna step down, curve out, and then down towards the left. Go back to the center, curve out, and then down towards the right. We'll add the top row of teeth. So from the left side, I'm gonna step down, I'm gonna curve down, and then up. I'm just gonna split the teeth in half with a straight line. Now along the bottom, you're gonna see the top edge of the tongue. So we're gonna curve up, and then down. Now let's draw in the brow. From the inside of the left eye, I'm gonna curve down over the nose and then pull that up. Go back to the center, we're gonna curve down over the right eye and we're gonna curve that up. On the left side, we're gonna curve this over, going out and then down. 
Now we're gonna work our way towards the top of the brow. On the left side, we're gonna draw a straight line going up. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna work my way in towards the top of the frown line. Curving up and then down. And then from this point, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction. Curving up and then out. Now we're gonna add in the side flaps. From the corner of the brow, we come down and then we're gonna pull that in just beside the mustache. I'm gonna angle this out and then down. Now we're gonna curve up towards the top of the hat. Curve out. Now I'm just gonna pull that into right about there. On the right side, we're just gonna close off the side of the head. From this point, we're gonna step in, curve out, and pull that in beside the mustache. Now we're gonna to go to the same height on the right, curve out the side of the head. Now at the bottom here, we're just gonna flick it out and angle down and in behind the head. Let's close off the top. From these two points, we're gonna curve up and then back down. On the left side, we're gonna tuck in the ear. Starting on the side, we're gonna go out, round it out and pull that in. And then on the inside, we're gonna draw a hook for the inner ear. Let's go in and fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now on the side here, we want to show a little bit of the finger holding the handle of the sword. So on the edge, we're going to curve up and down for one finger. Now the sword is going to be angled outwards. So we're going to draw two lines side by side, going out. We're going to close off the end with a curve. Now I'm going to take that same curve and duplicate it right below it. From the top of the sword handle, we're going to angle out. And we'll close off the end with another curve. Now the last thing I'm going to do is just close off the inside of the barrel. So from this point, I'm going to angle in behind the head, step in, draw that one more time, and then fill the inside area in black. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's the Barbarian Barrel from Clash Royale. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.